The future shoppers are here. If you're waiting for the future of shopping, you're already too late. Future Shoppers, the leading guys and girls of Gen Z, are customers in their late teens and early 20s. And they're already reshaping the world of retail. The good news is, there are four big opportunities for smart retailers to start taking advantage of now. Nothing beats shopping in a shop. In Australia, six out of ten future shoppers visit and buy at a shopping centre weekly or more often. For New Zealand's future shoppers, it's 3 out of 10, and that's not too far behind current shoppers. So while they're taking up online shopping more so than current shoppers, future shoppers still value that bricks and mortar, touch and feel, person to person shopping experience. I like being able to handle the product. We're all aware of Photoshop, but then we walk in the store and realise that the product isn't the size, material, fit or the look that we wanted. And there's one thing that online shopping just can't deliver, a real social activity. In Australia alone, half of future shoppers say that shopping is social and they feel more confident when they're shopping with friends. Future shoppers value the role of online, but they still want a place to shop with their friends and be offered assistance. Online isn't your enemy. For future shoppers, online and bricks and mortar can and must work together. Future shoppers are more likely than current shoppers to say that they window shop online, then go in store to buy. Future shoppers are then more likely to use their smartphones to continue researching while in store. So savvy retailers are finding ways to align their online and offline offerings. And to future shoppers, it's all just one unified shopping experience. And remember, future shoppers grew up with screens. They're more open to interacting through in-store digital activations and are happy to connect with you through social media and messaging. Don't just sell me something, mean something to me. Future shoppers want to feel like you're part of their real world. They are more likely than current shoppers to trust brands that reflect real people and real situations. They expect you to be active and communicating in the environments where they're active. They value ethics and companies with purpose and point to stores such as Lush as one example. Well, their customer service and products are amazing and they're environmentally and socially conscious. They refuse to test on animals and are avidly against cruelty. It's no surprise that future shoppers are significantly more likely to say they'll pay more for sustainable products and prefer brands that stand for something. It really tells you where their hearts are. Male future shoppers are a whole new ball game. It isn't news that men can be into shopping, but young Australian men step it up. Eight out of 10 like or love to shop, whether in store or online. They're just ready and happy to buy if you give them the opportunity. In fact, they're actually more interested in staying ahead of popular trends than the girls. But nearly half of them still don't feel as though a shopping center is somewhere they can relax or feel comfortable. They're still relying on their mates to make it a positive experience. Half even like to chat with store assistants. As a guy, it can be a bit awkward going into a shop by yourself, so it's much better with a group. Smart retailers should provide a welcoming environment that meets guys' needs, rather than treating them as an afterthought. Take a tip from Culture Kings, a fashion retailer that caters for men, with leading DJs performing daily in store and an in-store barber service. So are you ready for the future? Smart retailers will be ready for the future. They'll invest in welcoming and social in-store experiences. They'll embrace the opportunities online provides. They'll welcome the next generation of male shoppers. And they'll be the kind of business that has meaning beyond the bottom line. So how ready are you?